Dave Riding, 22 in the world from Lancashire. My first race on snow was about 13, so I did a lot of racing on dry soil before it. But um, I didn't really do much snow racing until later in uh, my teens. But I carried on racing dry stuff until I was 21 when I was already on, say, uh, I think I was on about 15 fizz points, but hammering down the dry slopes in Britain because I loved it. And uh, I still uh, still wanted to show people that I was fast on the dry slope <laughs> and I enjoyed the buzz. And do you think there are any skills in particular that translate across from, you know, having raced, well, both on indoor snow and on dry slope to, to your fizz racing? Sure, it's still it's all the same sort of principles of skiing is skiing. Okay, there are there are differences in line and, and basic position is and you can't get away with near enough what you do on dry slope and indoors. But um, I mean, skiing is still skiing. You're doing a left foot turn, right foot turn, and you learn a lot in Britain. If you if you concentrate on your technique in in Britain, then you can take all of it onto the snow. You use the uh, you use the indoor centres quite a bit for training. Through the uh, through the summer months, why do you why do you use those and not go to you know, to the mountains as much? Yeah, I, um, over time I, I was I was getting frustrated that you could wake up in the morning and it could be sunny one day, and next day it could be foggy, and next day the snow can be rubbish. You wake up on an indoors and know that the piece is going to be rock hard. It's it's going to be minus three. It's not going to be cloudy or anything. It's just a controlled environment get all the consistency you need so nothing's changing you can just work run to run on the same condition. You might focus more on indoors or you might focus more on outdoors but why not give it a crack on the other surface that's not normally accustomed to you and, and see how you do, see if you can get better on that as well. Make yourself um, a more all-rounded skier because for sure if you're really fast on dry slope and race indoors and want to get better indoors then it will help you dry slope and vice versa. What do you think that facility managers, operators can do to help to encourage and develop more uh, competitions across snow sports? From an Alpine perspective, indoors could do a lot. Just making the piece, just put a bit more time and care into, into piece preparation either all the time or, or specifically for race training or a race and you know make that piece a little bit firmer so we can get more speed, it's not getting soft and just bring the quality of training up and I guess the same with freestyle and everything just the, the better you can make the snow the better the more fun you can make activities parks whatever then athletes are going to uh, show up with a better motivation and bring out better skiing tricks whatever we're often seen as a as being as a bit of a disadvantage in in England because we haven't got any mountains to to try it out on and to train on um, where do you feel that our facilities in England actually give us an advantage over your competitors from the other nations? Um, well, we can train all, all, season, all year round at your local club, that's for one. You can, you can ski three times a week if you want on a surface that you know is going to be there for every day of the week. So uh, I think people just have to realise that they can make more of it than what they do. And then finally, um, one, uh, one last question. One piece of advice that you'd give a young ski racer, you know, at the start of their journey, just starting out on the uh, indoor or dry slope circuit in England? Uh, enjoy it. Have a laugh around the races. Obviously, focus on your training. Focus, focus on the race, but have a laugh with other people. Get to know people. You'll meet endless amount of people. It's a, it's a whole family ski racing. So, um, yeah, just enjoy it and, and try and get better. Anything is possible, and it's uh, anyone can achieve it if they're uh, willing to uh, go for it. What does it feel like when you're standing in that star gate, getting ready to go? It depends on what sort of frame of mind you're in. If you're uh, confident, you're ready to go, then it's always it's always a nice feeling. If you doubt yourself, it's not a nice feeling. So I try and always come into the start with one specific goal that I'm bringing from training, whether that be make sure I'm bringing everything through into the new turn or whatever, just to try and keep my mind on a sort of, not a training day, but more of what I can control. And then obviously when you're in Schladming, it's uh, a lot of people all the way to the top. and You get quite a buzz quite often. It's, it's, a, it's a phenomenal feeling, yeah.